up? Thank you for coming up. Thank you for uh, having me. Thank you. Looking good. Everyone's looking good. Look at you. In your clothes. Nice. Like it. <laughs> Who's got them? You know, look at you. With your hands. Nice one. Thank you. <laughs> Good to be here. <laughs> um, whatever, whatever. <laughs> oh, man, this is exciting. This is a very... This is, a, my, this is actually... This, this particular venue means a lot to me to be performing in this room because I remember when I first came down to the Melbourne International Comedy Festival, okay, I was 18 years old, it was a Raw Comedy Grand Final, right? We performed over in Melbourne Town Hall, right? 18 years old, after which we came here, we watched the late night show. I was standing in that room up there. I couldn't believe it. There was people like Will Anderson there, all right? There was people like Adam Hills. I, honestly, it was blowing my mind. It was such an amazing moment. I remember watching people on this stage just thinking one day I hope to be as, uh, you know, as good as them and in this position. And now I'm here. It means a lot. So here's hoping that tonight uh, ends as well as that night did. With me fingering someone in an alleyway, just, just behind there. Just fingers crossed that that happens. Um, that's not how I would do it, by the way. I would not do it, I would not, I would not do it like that, but uh, maybe I would. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, and it means a lot, you know, I'm joking about being here 10 years ago. I mean, I was here 10 years ago, but I'm joking about the fingering part. I'm very excited to be here uh, again, because a lot's changed in that 10 years. Uh, for instance, I'm rich now, and that is freaking sweet. Whoever here is not rich, you should try it. It is fucking rad, my friends. I buy stuff now, and I never thought I'd buy stuff. I buy music. Okay, I never thought I'd buy music. I used to just download everything I needed, but now I'm buying albums, right? I bought an album the other day just because I couldn't be fucked walking upstairs to get off my desktop. That's how rich I am. It's the best. <laughs> oh, it's awesome, guys. I bought a Kanye West album that I already downloaded eight years ago. That's how rich I am. I'm buying shit I've already stolen. <laughs> not, hey, it's so good, guys. But that's only because I'm only rich because I'm on Breakfast Radio, okay? And I gotta tell you, when you're on Breakfast Radio, a lot of people hate your ass for nothing, okay? They hate me. And I thought it'd be like, oh, you know, that, that joke wasn't very funny. Instead, they're like, fucking kill yourself, all right? And I'm like, whoa, all right? You, you never know when it's gonna happen. You never know when it's gonna happen. People just text in and over all the time because we ask for their opinion. 0439757555. Well, let us know what you think. 0439757555. Oh, what's your favorite lettuce? 0439757555. People be like, oh, I'm a masculine man. Oh, no, a rocket's the best. Matt O'Kind's a fuckhead. That, that was a... <laughs> what the hell just happened? What did I do? You should like, and God forbid I have an opinion about anything as well. I'll be like, oh, you know what? Don't like iceberg. It's a bit crunchy. Yeah, don't like having that crunch on my burger. Next thing you know, text, I'll be fucking third generation iceberg family. Dickhead, watch it. And I'll be like, fucking what? <laughs> Starting lettuce wars and in a bit of now, Jesus, you know, it's full on. And I, like, I don't mind because that's like what happens when you're at work, okay? Like, you know, but I didn't expect to get me at after hours times, okay? For instance, I, uh, I've got this guy on my Instagram who just, he just gets at me. His name's Rat Gillies. <laughs> Fucking Rat Gillies, man. All Rat Gillies does, right? This is all he does is under every single one of my photos is just tell me how bald I'm going. Like, I fucking hate Rackillies, man. It kills me every time. It could be anything. It'll be me in the park. I'll be like, had a great time in the park today. Rackillies, bald. Like, fucking shut up, Rackillies. 29 years old and I have a buddy and going bald, mate. I have a shower and the drain is a bigger afro than me. All right, I get it. Old mate Rackillies is just like, he just goes on binges. I'll get like five notifications. They'll all be Rackillies, just like bald, baldy, going bald, mate. Need a weak chrome dome. I'm like, fuck off, Rackillies. <laughs> Did a gig with Dave Chappelle, right? One of the proudest moments of my life, right? Ten years ago, I was chain smoking cones in my friend's lounge room watching this guy's show, just wishing that one day I could be as good as him or, you know, maybe be on the same stage as him. Ten years later, I'm actually sharing the same stage, Sydney Opera House, Australia's biggest venue, right? And he, we're chatting on stage afterwards and he's like, hey, you want to get a photo? I was like, yes, I do want to get a photo. So me and him, we took this photo, me and him just in the theatre by ourselves alone, I put up on Instagram, so proud. <laughs> Fucking Raculies, just straight... <laughs> And straight away he's just like, I don't know who's bald, the Dave or Dr. Evil. Like, what? And he's like, you're Dr. Evil, by the way. Like, fuck off, Rackillies. Comparing me to Dr. Evil now. 